Are you able to see me? Yes, can you give a reply? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, ma'am. Sir. Okay, so our today topic is here, forms personalizations. Okay, I'll give you a couple of examples and a couple of assignments. Okay. To alter the form, we can use this forms personalizations. Personalization means it is just modifications, we can say, without modifying code in the back end. You go to application. I'll show you one form and then I explain you what are the modifications comes under. So alternatively, previously there was custom PLL. PLL stands for here is program link library. If you want to really modify the code or if it is not achievable through personalization, then we have to go with the custom PLL. I'll give you one or two examples in the custom PLL. Also, thought you'll come to know, but compared to custom PLL, form personalization is more advantageous. Okay. Because there is no code involvement in this. Custom PLL is fully based on the code. You take any one of the form, for example, your user defined form. Okay, in this, I need to rename this text instead of person, person name, or I need to hide this customer. So these are all called as an alterations. We can say forms personalizations. Personalization means like we can increase the width or we can make this field as a mandatory field or yellow field, or we can hide this fax field. Right now, or let's say there is a LOV here, LOV. Somewhere here, LOV will be available, right? This LOV also we need to change. So these type of things are called as a personalizations. Uh, one example I'll take that is hide username field or hide person name field. So this, Person field I would like to hide in the security user defined. Okay. Uh, to hide it, actually, we need to go to diagnostics, custom code, and personalize. So, this is the navigation. Now, to go to this particular personalize, so there is a profile option required. That profile option name is here system. There is a utilities. And the username is operations. So this utilities diagnostics. If you want to work on personalizations, you need to make this profile option to S yes for a particular user. Right now, we have not made it to the user here. Okay, but we made it at site level. 
if you make it at site level it applies to every user okay let's say i'm, I'm making it as no at site level then save and user level so user level also no for time being let's see save then go to your again help diagnostics can you see here diagnostics option is disabled correct you are not able to go to custom code and personalize here then i feel let's click on this okay diagnostics go back again system we have not modified just simply we have selected <laughs> Italy is diagnostics uncheck it find so site level no then save go back to anywhere let's say i'm going to purchase order screen then purchase orders purchase orders This entire portion, custom code, like this it is. You will get an error like this. Read this error to this response because we have disabled. So we are controlling by using a profile. Utilities, diagnostics. So this profile name you need to remember. It is clearly saying function not available to this responsibility. Change the responsibilities of our contact system administrator. We can enable or disable by using system administrator responsibility. Now, you are okay with this. So go back to system administrator. One functionality you should understand here. Let's say Again, go back to profile system, then user, operations user. Here, operations user, I'm making it as yes, okay? But other user, other user, let's say, I'll log into other user now. This user, go to system administrator security or any other not only security responsibility i'm going this time diagnostics custom code personalize so still it is not working here for other users the reason is we made at site level no Okay, so there are site level no, site level user level. Okay, if you make site level is yes, and uh, user level is yes, site level is no, system will give top priority to yes on uh, user level only. Okay, so least priority goes to site level. If you make it site level at yes, and user level yes or no, whatever doesn't matter. But in this case, if you make it no, then it will give priority to no only again. If you don't enter anything in the user level, then it applies to every user. Every user can access it. Okay. Uh, that is the reason why actually we have to make it at site level. Site level, yes. If why this restriction is required is here. If you make this profile option to the user, user also can go and modify. Correct. That is the reason why we have to restrict it. Only we'll give it to particular users, not for everyone. I am disabling it. Security. User define. Oh, it's not required. Just check. Okay. Now go to profile option. System and that diagnostics user level 
operations. If you want to give site level also by default, you can type it. So site level, I'm making it as yes. And operation level, I'm not giving anything here. So are you okay with this functionality? Your system will give least priority to site level and highest priority goes to user, user. user level. So what is this priority meaning here is, if I mention here no, then system has to take no only under operations user. Even though you take at site level, yes, but it will give priority to no only, okay? Anyway, I'm making it to original place now. Clear? Okay, right now you are into which user? You are into other user. So I log into my own user now. As of now, I told you only one point that is profile option. How we can see the navigation for form personalizations. Now, this is the example you'll see. Hide the person name field. You can, this is the person I'm talking about. These are all the exercises, okay? So I'll give you assignments also. Diagnostics, personalize. This is the navigation. You try to remember once. Help, diagnostics, custom code, personalize. There are four, yeah, sorry. I think we have not saved properly. So we have not selected earlier. That was the problem. So make it or remove it better. Don't do anything in this. You don't know. Now you will not face that particular problem. Still, what is this? Okay. Let's make it yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe we have to lug it like it will be stored in some cache here somewhere. <clears throat> Usually, it will be enabled only because we are a developer, right? We are not the end users. That's why for our users, it will be always will be enabled in the company. We no need to enable disable for us explicitly. Okay. So these are all like you can disable. There are some, some other people already practiced in this. Otherwise, it will affect. So whenever you are practicing something on this window, you disable all others. <laughs> okay? Or if you are, you can delete also. Nothing to worry. You have deleted also. It's a practice environment. You can delete it. But in the company, you should not delete. Okay? So there are four sections in this. One is... This call as a rules area. Okay. Rules, conditions, context, actions. These are all called as a 
four sections we can say for any form personalization there are four sections are available first rules here rule means what are you going to do on this personalization are you going to change lov or are you hiding the buttons what is your requirement that requirement you will mention over here okay the first is hiding fields which field it is let's say the field name also you give here this is for understanding purpose only it will not appear anywhere okay and this change like you are going to change on one particular function not the entire form the change is applying on a particular area that's called as a function now say conditions as i mentioned here so this is a second section conditions now we have the various types of triggers okay these are all called as a triggers and it will fire in a sequence also okay first form level so this is called as a form let's say only this form i am considering to to explain you because you are not aware of forms right so this is called as a form okay now this is called as a block only this area condition block action block will call it as a block header block in po screen if you say header block line block line location block distribution block right there are four levels are there so here also that is called as a block here now next is what it is record so this is the record so one two three whatever you are seeing this is called as an entire record uh, for uh, purchase order line level you can say if you remember <laughs> line level the entire line quantity price uom need by date that entire thing is called as a record Sorry. now next is item item is a specific field we can say any field that's called as an item item is single field and when validate record why validate record here is whenever you are entering a purchase order quantity it should not go beyond 5000 dollars quantity 5000 so that means that we are validating validating a field and you need to enter only a specific payment method so at that time also we have to validate it so you need to remember here it's a hierarchy here form will have a block block will have a record record will have a field field like this 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 is the hierarchy you need to know now the next menus menus there are 45 menus will be there count is important 45 special menus so this is called as one menu okay whatever you are seeing these are all menus only and under the tools also you can make it appear see this validate all is one menu administration another menu you can have n number of menus so right now 45 is the maximum limitation normal menus are 15 this this is called as a normal menu this validate all is a normal menu administration also a normal menu and here attachment special menu and here translations zoom these are all special menus now how many triggers we have means these are all fixed if it is beyond that you cannot access in normal core forms there are many triggers are there but here these are all only limited triggers and the firing sequence also the same only sequence is form level block level record level item level and then validate and other menus and special menus clear about a condition we will write a condition here you will come to know in the examples now next is context level here this is another region so this is what i am talking about that is context Con the purpose of context is you can apply this change for one particular user only not for all other users so at that time we have to make it user level here is let's say like this for this particular user only i need to make a change or else operations user only i need to make a change it's an optional it's not mandatory based on your requirement sometimes they will ask you so just disable all the options for that particular user then only that user only you have to make changes save and actions action is under this action only there are many options are there one is property option message 
मेसेज मेसेज विल हैव हियर हिंट मेसेज डीबक मेसेज वार्निंग मेसेज आर सिंपली इज अ पॉप अप मेसेज ओके यू हैव सीन राइट सो मेनी एरर मेसेजेस व्हाइल वर्किंग विद ऑरेकल एप्लीकेशंस दोस आर ऑल कॉल्ड एज मेसेजेस नाउ बिल्टिन बिल्टिन्स मींस इफ यू वांट टू लॉन्च एनीथिंग हियर let's say to launch a function we can use this or to perform a ddl operations like creating altering dropping we can go with the forms dll and to launch anything or to change a lov we can use create record group from a query all we will not use okay we will use regularly few things only this is for changing a lov we can do and if you want to usually dbs will use this triggering options and for ddl operations we can use this for calling any procedure we can use this execute procedure if you want to call any terms and conditions website url we can go with the launch a url and other one is launch a function these are all only we will use not everything go item go block these are not frequent requirements we will use of course but not a frequent requirements clear so in our upcoming examples we will discuss about all the things So anyway, um, these are all we'll see. Okay, first we'll go with the property. In the property, we have object types are so many. Uh, item is an object type. This window is an object type. Tab, see, condition is one tab. Action is another tab. These are all two tabs are there here. So that is called as a tab page. And whatever you are seeing in this, to which is a holder of all the text items right that's called as a canvas now radio buttons this is a check button radio button means round will be there and global variables we can declare and lov we have seen already these are all the things we can see we'll go with one by one okay item item means your field your field is what it is person field right select the person field So this is the field we are going to hide it here. And what is the value right now? Person. Property name. So I don't want to show this field at all. Then there is a field here. Display it. I don't want to display this. So for that we can use it here. False. So form personalizations are very easy. Actually, it is a GUI based. No need to write much code. Of course, little code will be there in the conditions and all, but those are all not uh, uh, that much big logic. Okay, people are preferring form personalizations only. Eleven five ten point two version onwards only they have introduced this. Earlier it was not there. Save. Close. Can you see now? That is disabled. In the same way, I want to hide the fax field. You tell me navigation. It's very easy. Same steps. This is a second example. Second sequence. First is over already. This is a second sequence. Or in the same description also we can do another one also. The second one I can take property. Then after that, then item. Next target object. That is. Then property name we have to take display and value is false. Save. Apply now validate. If you write any code and all, we can use validate button. Right now not needed. Apply now. Can you see here? Usually it has to appear after opening it, but apply now it will give instant modifications, instant changes. So your person field is. Disable fax field is disabled, but it applies to only operations user, not for every user. Let's say if I check in other user, it will be there as it is. That is the greatest advantage with this. Sorry, again I am logging with the operations.
it still remains same correct person name is there tax name is there because we made a setup in the context level in the context level what are the other areas we can say not only user we can enable at or we can change that site level also see site level responsible level. industry i'm not sure but these three i have used clear and if you remove this operations user just by deleting record fnd cannot delete delete context okay we did from other user right that's why save okay it is not allowing here Our clear record, let's see. Clear record. Save. A clear record is okay. Now close, reopen again. It's not allowing to delete it. We, we can delete from our user. No worries. Uh, this is the way because that. That user is normal user only. So are you okay with this example? I, how to hide a person name field, person name and Tax fees. So this is one example you can easily understand. Now, second example we'll see. Second example is call a form from other form. We are calling one form from other form. If you are using custom PLL, so this functionality is called as a zoom. It is zoom feature means calling a form from other form. So this is also called as a, but officially we cannot call, but in custom PLL, officially we can call it as a Zoom. Let's go to inventory module. Here yeah, there is a transactions, miscellaneous transaction. We have used multiple times this one, correct? So, like you have created, uh, yeah, miscellaneous transaction. Miscellaneous received transaction lines. And you are entering item here, right? Item is laptop. But this laptop has to go into a variable, global variable. Then only it will verify. Then after that, it will check the quantity and will display here. So right now, I don't know how much quantity is available. So here 104, right? 104 into M1 only. If I wanted to know the entire quantity, then definitely I need to close this. I have to go back to here, on hand availability, on hand quantity. So this form I need to check item wise, then status, status wise also we can get under this M1 organization and locator wise quantity everything we can see in this so the requirement is what it is from transactions miscellaneous transaction form okay in this form i need to call one form the form name is called as an on hand quantity so the requirement is what it is <coughs> call a form from other form now tell me the example call on hand quantity form from right miss clear so this is the example so for this we need to know first of all what we can use there is a built-in we can use built-in built-in is called as a launch function this is a built-in 
another one is we have to use global variable also global variable then dollar block name dot field name Your first function name i don't know as of now to know the function name i need to go here go to diagnostics examine only sorry not examine personalize so this is a function name okay name of the function target function you should know here form name is different function name is different form may have multiple functions so right now inv underscore inv material workbench it is just a function name in our case it may be different here so function name i am gathering inv underscore inv material wbr Where? Now next block name dot field name. From where you would like to call this? Go to miscellaneous transaction. Here is the place. Diagnostics exam. So this is the block name. Block name is. MTL transaction line and field name is item. These values are different form to form. Only we should know what we are copying, why we are copying. These two, if you know, then you can easily. And one more thing is, from where we can call here is, we can introduce one menu over here. One menu. Like this, see? The moment I click on this, it has to call. It. Okay? Someone already worked on, that's why it is showing here, on add quantity. But we'll create our own menu like this, first step. Second step is, the moment we click on this, it has to call another form. Now, go to examine. Custom code, personalize. This is a second example. Uh, someone has already done this. I am just disabling this. These two. Disable it, it will not appear. The first step is here, menu creation. See? This menu name <coughs> and menu name. Whatever the menu. Second one is here. Go to property. This global variable, whatever I told you. This colon we can use for reference colon block name dot field name and built in is simply launch a function. That's it. Two steps are there here. Overall two steps. Okay, let's go with the first step. Sorry, the sequence is three or anything. Even I, I, I can give 15 also. Okay. But same sequence we should not use. That is sequence is for to maintain an order. Okay. On hand quantity menu. Go to conditions. While opening a form itself, it has to show up. It has to show that particular menu. So go to actions, first sequence. Then, as I told you, that is menu. So how many menus we have? 45 special menus, normal menus, how many we have? Yes. 15, okay? That count, special we are not using. Menu one is already someone has used, we cannot use, it is already reserved. Let's say I'm using menu two or menu eight, these are all flexible to use. Any menu you can use. Menu two I'm using, menu label. Launch on hand quantity form. Any meaningful name, menu label we can give. Icon means this is a one icon. This is another icon. These are all icons we can say. Save. This is the one step it is. If you want, you can go and verify here. 
after closing you can see that particular so when it will appear here is it is not appearing right now when it will appear is after opening only at the time of opening only when new form is it means whenever a form opens you can see there is a menu if you click on this menu nothing will happen here because we are not given any launcher function built in or anything we have not given here that's why it is not showing at all only menu is appearing that's it first task is over but second task is still pending now second is what it is 16 i am giving that is calling on hand quantity form from menu 2 now go to condition here you have to take menu 2 only otherwise it will not fire in the sequence whatever the menu you have taken same menu you have to take here go to actions first one is here property there is a global variable here on a particular item or you can take what we have taken here this go okay global variable item target object is item here you have to type it here because there is no lov item value let it be that is is equal to colon i mentioned by mistake is a dollar here in the form and all you can see sir colon we can use what is this block name dot field name what it means here is whatever you enter the item the dynamically will go here item name and the second one is here built in built in we can use so for built in there is a launch a function here function name we already noted down here correct function name is a inventory inventory material workbench it is then tab function name automatically it will derive save or our explanation is over just verify whether it is coming or not miscellaneous transaction and you can go to launch on hand quantity it appearing so this is the way we can easily verify the quantity so i no need to go to uh, this other expansion here not only in the same module other module form also we can access it okay because end users may not aware this functionality calling a form from other form and all you have to notify like how we can call it okay shall we do one more time So these are all practice required. You will feel that these are all easy only, but you will forget. Okay, I am just deleting everything. Over, save. Now, first step is what it is. You need to know what is the function name for your target form. So, how to know the uh, function name? You can go to on hand availability, on hand quantity. Go to diagnostics this is the function name okay so first first thing is ah uh, yeah just open that here is the place about about oracle applications just check yeah see it is not showing up about oracle applications will give you what is the form not the blocks see you can see here form name it is showing but function name is not showing correct so to know the function name this is the only option okay function name form name also showing this form name and function name both clear about that uh, second step is what it is go to your source from where are you calling i would like to call from here and here is the place you need to make it appear one menu 
after entering miscellaneous uh, after entering transaction lines whatever the item you enter it has to come through a variable that variable is called as a global variable okay now go to diagnostics it has two parts one is creating a menu is one part other one is calling a form from other form is another part so first sequence is what it is create menu these are all just to read it and to understand it okay it will not appear anywhere create menu now what you need to do first while opening a form only it has to appear action property we need to take menu uh, we already had used okay we delete it so it is not appearing menu one i am taking if these are all flexible to use any menu you can take nothing to worry menu one menu label is call on hand quantity to check stock okay then save second one is what you want to see again okay, you can see it will not show immediately so it is not showing when it will appear is when opening a new form only it will appear so can you see while opening only or after opening after opening only it will appear now it is not calling anything it is not triggering anything the reason is we not we have not include any logic now go to same story diagnostics second sequence whenever you are using second sequence definitely you need to take this menu go to actions first is what it is the variable the variable it has to pick the value uh, to give the stock that is global variable and targeting object yeah on a particular item it is not on a block level or record level it is item only it is here is a place colon is equal to colon block name dot field name so block name how we can identify it is you can simply go to diagnostics it will give so this is the one then validate first get value what it is showing nothing see validate if you want invalid identifier because if you click on validate it will give error saying that it is invalid identifier your system is not able to identify but if you give here colon means it will consider as a reference it is bind reference now it is not giving an issue now second one you have to choose built in and there is a launch a function if you want to launch concurrent program srs window view request submit request also we can use srs form for everything <laughs> examples you can find in google also but we will not use all okay we'll use regularly few only execute procedure also i'll explain you now launch a function function code i already noted down okay you take assignments like you call supplier form from purchase order form like that assignments are important guys so that you will come to know new things close the moment you click on this it will call on end point like this so this is the way we can use call a function or call a form from other form so is it okay so wait 5 minutes so that your mind will refresh again i'll take two more examples so that we can keep aside this form personalization clear i'll come back again guys please join back after 5 minutes okay 5 to 10 minutes also okay just i am giving okay. some time because you need a fresh mind to listen all this continuously i should not explain <laughs> 